This is probably one of the most anticipated videos I think I've ever done ever. So which ice mule cooler is the right ice mule <laughs> cooler for you? This is a comparison video. I'm up here. Look at this beautiful view. I'm up here in the San Gabriel Mountains, right? Los Angeles area, Southern California. This was our campsite. Leave no trace. Bike packed up here. Was 37 degrees last night. Oh my God. December 2023. It's cold right now. It's about like 60 kind of bordering on like 55. The sun is like just about to set. So I got to get moving, but look at how gorgeous this was. If you saw the ice meal cooler vid I did from last week, right up in the tree is where I hung it. The food bag, all that good stuff. These things are a godsend. Like three days is what I think I averaged out to keep everything cool in there like using about two cups of ice or two bowls of ice, sorry, and those little uh, gel packs, right? They work great. But this video is a size comparison between large, medium, and small. Uh, and I kind of I kind of uh, stripped some things off just to make it lighter to be able to bring up here. But they do come with the shoulder straps, which is kind of nice. So if you want to use that, uh, and there's, there's different like attachment points, Right, so you've got an attachment point here, and then you've got like an attachment point over there, uh, and then basically you've got your your valve here for venting. What you want is you want air to get trapped between the outer layer and the inner layer. That way, it keeps everything cold in there with your ice, you know, whatever you put in here, your beverages or whatever. So here is what the three sizes look like, right, all in front of each other. They're kind of around the same height, right? If you notice that, and I'll do. A better job of getting the tape measure out right that's why i brought the tape measure so you can check all that out but it's the width the width is where you start getting some differences so there's the large on the bottom here's the medium and if you pack this correctly you can get them all to nest inside of each other right and then here's your small so there's your small medium large i'm going to turn them this way maybe just so we can get like good, yeah, let's do it this way. Adjusting, readjusting, you know, we're doing this on the fly. <laughs> okay, so small, medium, large, right? There's your shot. And they kind of look the same size, but they're really not. Like they really are a different size. Uh, and every size I believe goes up like X amount of liters. Here's your tag. If you want to go ahead and check this out. Right, so there's your, uh, this was the large, this is for the one on the bottom, the large classic. Uh, there's some good information in here. You can kind of see like what people are using them for. Freedom to take your cooler further, you know, ice mule, you get the idea. And then here's the large size, right? That's what it looks like when it's fully loaded. Capacity, 20 liters, 2.1, you get the idea. I believe the medium is like 15 liters. And then this one, the small one is like 10 liters. And then they also make different uh, products as well. There's like a backpack like a full-blown backpack, backpack version. Uh, but you'll have to check out the description section down there below to see some links to all that stuff, which I will put down there. But anyways, you get the idea. That's basically this. So let me go ahead and do the measurements, right? I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to smoosh these all out as flat as I can. Here's what the bottoms look like. Like if you want to see, like you can tell the circumference sizes are a little bit different. See how like small, medium, large, I know this is one of the most sought after videos that people have been asking me for. So it's finally happening. But anyways, let's just go through these one at a time, right? So here's the small size, uh, which I showed in a video from, I think it was April, like back in my video playlist. But anyways, you get the idea. So at the uppermost part up here, you're looking at around like 13 inches, right? Let me get this the correct way. So from the width of this is give or take like somewhere in the ballpark of like 13. These are just rough ballpark estimates. So this is laid flat. You gotta remember laid flat. And then in terms of the height, right? The height's pretty much the same for all the bags. Like there's very little difference in the height. Like I'm trying to get as many angles here as I can. There's your overall height. You're looking at like somewhere around 23 inches, right? 22, 23 inches, give or take. And then you have to remember too that you're rolling these, right? So there's, as you, as you see, maybe this one's a better example. See this little indentation here? That's where the padding on the inside stops or like where the bulk of the padding stops. So when you roll this down, 
to seal the bag as I showed in another video. Basically, that's where you want to roll it to. And if you make sure that the logo is out, right? So as you roll it, make sure the logo is like on the connecting end. So the logo is facing out from, from the circle part. That's how you know you're in the right spot. Well, anyways, there was your measurement for the, for the first one, right? So we have, just to do that again, you're looking at like 22 inches or so from top to bottom and something like, I believe it was, what was that? Like fifth, like 13 inches wide, right? And then your diameter, which is gonna be kind of hard to do, but let's try to do it. So your diameter here, which is basically this part, this is the part that I'm measuring. Like I said, we're just ballparking this because I would need a full-blown production studio to do this. But you're looking at somewhere around like nine inches in diameter, right? Give or take like eight and a half to nine inches in diameter when it's all said and done. So that's the small. Let's now go to the medium. So here's the medium size, right? A little bit bigger, right? You're getting five more liters, I believe it's 15 liter. So now here, what you're looking at is, let's see if I can flatten this out. So here, what you're looking at is you're looking at 15 inches. You get two, two more inches of width, right? Coming across and then your distance from top to bottom and I'm just, I'm taking it from there just to be fair, right? I'm taking it from all the way there just to be fair. So let me line this up. So you're at, you're at about the same, 22 inches, right? The top to the bottom is the same. So it's the width that increases. And then as we go to, ah, as we go to the diameter, this one might, might be a little bit harder because I used this one for the first time last weekend, if you happen to catch those videos. But here's your diameter. Let's take a quick measurement of that. You're looking at like around nine inches, a little bit, yeah. Like nine, maybe and a half, maybe like a little bit more of like a rounder contact patch. Like if I look at all these, if I look at these three all side by side, you know, the bottom kind of looks the same, right? So medium, large, small, 10 liter, uh, 20 liter, 15 liter, right? They kind of all look the same. This one might be like, the large might be a little bit bigger. So that was the medium size. Move this one out of the way. Now let's tackle the large. And you can obviously see, you know, the medium and the large kind of look like they could be very similar, right? Let's do this shot real quick. Just so you can kind of see what's going on there. See, that's your three sizes that way. But let's actually measure, measure this. So now let's get our width. Oops. Let's go this way. So your width on this is around 17 inches, give or take, right? There's your 17. And then now let's do your length, which would be this way. And I know it's kind of tough because it's curling over on itself. But I would say you're about the same at like 20, 21, 22 inches. So the width is where you pick up most of your volume in liters. I mean, look at that. That's like 15 plus bordering around like 16 maybe. So that's your, all of your measurements. There's your Ice Mule logos. Right? So the lengths are pretty much you know, about the same. There's another shot right there just to show you all the size comparison. So small, medium, large, right? 10 liter, 15 liter, 20 liter. That's your liter sizes. And then we did the stack at the beginning of the video. I'll do another one here just so we can take a look at maybe this from this angle. If you want to kind of see, not really much to see there in terms of size comparison. But I think this one's probably a good one to show, you know, the, the diameters of the pouches. So this one is a little bit smaller in diameter, as you can see right there. But basically, that's your, that's your setup. You know, that is your setup. Small, medium, and large. Anyways, with that being said, I'm glad I came back up here to take this video up in the beautiful San Gabriel Mountains. If you are going to be bike packing or even just a day trip like on a bicycle you want to pack something keep it cool you know use your ice use your gel packs 
definitely I I've gotten three days, like no problems. And that's, that's around two people's food, like worth of food over the course of three days. So we're talking like three meals a day, right? Per person. So six meals a day. And we're talking like, you know, I had barbecued turkey burgers that I had cooked ahead of time, put in the rezip bags that went into here with some ice and some gel packs. Anyways, you get the idea, but they're great little coolers. I love them. You have to stay tuned for more videos on these. I'm going to be doing a series of videos covering each size, what I use each size for and all that good stuff. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below, hit the description section for links to these and some other great other ice mule cooler products. And I will catch you all on the next exciting. Oh, look at that view video. <laughs> review.